remember you said your morale crushing project. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the morale crushing project. I her words. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm not going to name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not naming names. Not naming anything. But <laughs> but let me set let me set the stage for you because we were. Um, it was a project that had. Um, been optimistically planned, uh, not enough budget, uh, not enough time allocated, not really understanding the depth of complexity, um, and it just kept running and running. And uh, we went back to the well for funding multiple times, but at the end of it, we were working 70 hour weeks, 80 hour weeks, weekends, nights, holidays, and my point of realization was midnight on New Year's Eve uh, when we were going live finally. And it was this relief, right? So like finally we're rolling everything out. We're doing the final data migration. And it's at that point in time, I'm like, oh my gosh, there are 30 people up right now doing this yeah. instead of thinking about New Year's. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it was that point of reflection where, you know, technology brings us so many cool things. We you know, somebody writes a little piece of automation and a whole department's lives are better, right? right. Their jobs are right. easier. They are able to work with their customers better. Um, it, it, the Zoom technology that allows all of us to collaborate and has kept us going during the pandemic, all of those little pieces of technology make everybody else's lives better. And I'm like, let's work on making the technology people's lives mm. better because who mm -hmm. takes care of them? So that's when I decided to kind of step into that and, and start thinking about, are there better ways for us to work um, as technology organizations? Mm -hmm.